hi guys welcome back so gemini's the final reading of the day is going to be you gemini all right i changed my shirt because i don't like the other one okay it looked too dressy i want to be as comfortable as possible i just have a t-shirt on one with some shorts all right so we're gonna jump into your read all right, so let's see what bonus messages the angels have for us. So if it does resonate, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel, period. Now, if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist oh, linked below in the description. I'm trying to get this thing up and about. Linked below in the description. Ooh, and go over to the Instagram and also support your girl's cause. As soon as we hit the 5K mark, we're going to start those free personal readings over there so hopefully you guys you know join me over there with that journey all right let's see what we have let's see what we have for gemini so what's the first energy here for gemini's the page of swords okay somebody very like somebody's blocked here all right, we have the high front in reverse. Okay, there's a huge mistake or a decision that was made here um, that was wrong. Someone listened to someone. This is what I'm hearing and made the wrong decision. They were very codependent uh, in this decision. I feel like this person has this um, possibility that they're gonna have another chance to make this right. I feel like there was lies. This is all about lies, you guys. Lies that were told in this connection. All right. Sorry about the vacuum. I'm in a hotel that you can hear everything. Okay. Um, and I, I'm definitely seeing like there is some kind of healing that needs to be done here. I feel like you feel this. I feel like you guys are on your last straw when it comes to the connection with this person and you need to really like heal or take that time out for yourself. The strength card is also showing up here, you guys, and I definitely feel like there is going to be a huge conversation because there's a form of a, this huge energy coming through of taking power okay or using your power to um fix whatever is going on here okay at least as much as you can all right so we have a um a calling that's happening within you like a calling all right there's a decision that needs to be done or made that you haven't made yet it's like you're waiting some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. I'm also getting Virgo here. I'm actually getting Virgo. Did I get Virgo twice? No, I didn't. I got the high front um, Taurus energy. I had Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, and we have here Leo and Sag. There's a lot of major cards here. But like this energy, what is going on in this hotel? This energy is definitely something that was blocked from the, the, the get-go. Like this person like really just made this decision. You were like, okay, you're blocked. And I definitely feel like this was some kind of ego behind it or stubbornness. But this person was listening to other people. There was a lot of lies here. Like someone told lies because this is what they were told. Like you better not do this. You better not say this. They're not going to understand. You better hide this. And I feel like you found out about the situation. You had to free yourself mentally away from this person. And you have to block them. But there is this um, thing that's happening for you. Like this change. This is what I'm seeing here. But there's got to be healing. And definitely there is going to be like this energy, force of energy, like I said before, that's coming through of power. All right. So the decision hasn't been made here. This situation ended between you and this person it could be a Scorpio Virgo. Like I said before, Taurus, it could be um, uh, 
what is what is it uh, a leo I'm, I'm repeating myself but you know i just feel like you're moving forward you're moving forward within your element you're moving forward within you all right you're you're living your abundance and i feel like you know what this person better just like really get their lives together because a lot of people are watching you as well all right so <clears throat> we have this energy of you being on your own for a while okay i feel like you need to be on your own you need some time to think yeah you're going to be healing look at that the ten of swords in reverse you're going to be healing the four of swords you're living for you you know you're living for you. You're following your truth, your destiny. This feels right for you in the world. The Wheel of Fortune, excuse me. This feels very right for you. I'm getting Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio with the, the Wheel of Fortune as well. It's like this is the right thing for you to nurture yourself. You feel like you're on your 11-11, period. When you're, you're leaving this energy behind. A lot of this is a lot of the same energy I've been getting today. Like when I'm doing a you Scorpio, um, Sag, um, Leo, I um, did uh, uh, Aries today. A lot of you are moving forward and you're moving forward from a connection that has been holding you back mentally. And as soon as you like leave that energy behind you are better for yourself so definitely dealing with some loss here dealing with somebody using you um you know abandoning you um dealing with some debt as well when it comes to money with the five of pentacles a lot of you could be dealing with this person being with other people you know it's just this like this coldness uh, with this situation with this five of pentacles and i just feel like this is a constant situation and you could be um, trying to build your life back up. I just got stuck with my breathing just now. <laughs> um, I just feel like this person, you kind of even lost, you know, a way to this person, like conversation or having them. The things that you guys used to do is just no more. This is what I'm feeling. The angels are just saying, like, take it in prayer manifest and open the door to spirit in a positive light not black magic you guys positivity and let me just i got a diary you guys i'm on a diary i'm gonna <laughs> write down again i haven't had one of these in so long and i recommend it um i was looking back on a lot of my old stuff that i did and i was like oh my god i cannot continue a diary in my old diaries because it was just so like dark and it was like this is just a great time in my life even though there's bad things that happened earlier this year with my father i just felt like it's just a right time to have a diary and have my family go back with it say god forbid something happened to me but <laughs> this is the things that i want for myself you know so they will have that you know looking back so yeah i want to do that and i think you should it, it really helps your mental um and this is a gemini reading and that's something that helps you towards healing as well gemini if you guys are in the process of trying to heal that's a really good thing a lot of you ask me like how to heal and it's really just steps of <sighs> believing in yourself again and making sure that you are you can continue these steps you can't do it for one day and then expect to heal this is a constant thing you know about addiction right people have them and they have to constantly fight to stay afloat it's the same thing as healing right so this is something that you might want to look into so to just see your process all right okay let's see here so tell me more when it comes to Gemini's energy. I feel like you're in this space where things ended Gemini and you're great. You're fine. <laughs> Whatever. You're, just, you're like fine about it. You're ready to move forward. You're not in this stuck phase about nothing. And this is what this person doesn't understand because you have the eight of swords. You have the death. Eight of swords is in reverse, like, bye, you're not stuck anymore. And then the death, you're like, okay, well, end it, I gotta go. Like, yeah, you're living in your 
your your prime you know you're showing up as the empress here but you just need some time to get rid of all that negative energy and you're taking the right step why is this watch pinching me all the time i feel like something is pinching me but you know you're on this verge of recharging refueling trying to get your mental state back on track you know closing doors that needs to be closed um, starting new chapters and you feel really excited about this in the in the wheel of um, the, the, the wheel of fortune and you definitely are not looking for any kind of cycles okay you've learned from this you've moved forward from this all right you you don't know what's out there for you you know this person in the, the world the wheel of fortune is blindfolded so it's like but you feel like luck is on your side right so let's see change luck you feel really good about this so tell me more Oof, rest it's like the angels are confirming everything that i'm saying like the four of swords talks about rest vacation for some of you if you want to take a trip this is the time on your own solo all right and then what else tell me more Ooh, we have the woman holding a heart so you're gonna meet a cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy very happy Ooh, in the Sun so as soon as you get out of this um, depression state the angels are saying you're going to be with a new person very emotional connection here very heartfelt very trustworthy very grown up and you're going to be living in bliss <laughs> happiness okay in the sun okay so this could be a leo that you're meeting wow heartbreak you're getting over this you're still getting over this though it's like a, a constant thing I feel like what's going on here is that as you're it's like this connection it, it was like it's like you don't want me to know that you're feeling this it's like Gemini you're just moving you're being really strong and brave because the way the cards are it's like you're going through so much with this temperance when it comes to this healing okay it's in reverse you're going through the temperance sword it's like you're doing all the steps but you don't want me to see your heart like your heart is really just broken and shattered and you're trying to just make a decision for yourself because you realize right now like this is the only thing that you can do is heal from this situation and really be strong and firm and cold like turn off your 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 emotions but underneath your heart is just broken okay and it's okay Gemini please it is okay all right tell me more it's a process you guys it's not going to linger for long what's gonna happen like you're gonna always have that experience but you're gonna also be thankful for this broken heart you are it's, it's an experience over time you're not even gonna be mad at this person anymore you're just gonna be thankful for this experience when you do meet the right one okay so it is what it is turning into a positive tell me more Ooh, so you have the seventh chakra so door to spirit door to spirit here this is the spiritual chakra number 41 okay let's see let me just make sure okay spirit yep spirit spirit connection your intuition and your inspiration so this is like bringing back your passion back to you as well as trusting your intuition in the moon again because this person made you doubt yourself a lot of you fell into depression anxiety ten of um ten of swords things that you're trying to keep hidden from me it's like you're saying oh i grew from this but you've been through so much in the beginning in the beginning to grow from this you had to experience it to grow from this and this is what you're trying to hide from me gemini um you're trying to appear very strong here and then the door to spirit is like you are on that verge of manifestation you're on that verge of um trust in yourself again and really just you know taking that power using your power of 
taken like manifesting everything that's in the spiritual world into the physical you're like trying to to give to give yourself that life but you already it's like you don't even have to try it so hard the only thing that you have to do is continue to be a good decent person and be positive as hell let's be positive as hell so they the energies can flow within your life because these things are already for you. This is what I'm hearing. You already have these things in the spiritual world. Okay. Tell me more. So we have number 19, number 44. Um, we have nine and 41 and we also have one. Tell me more. Wow, another angel, your second chakra. So intimacy and creativity is also being a factor here. So new love is coming into your life, like I said before. And you need to be careful whether or not you're ready for this intimacy because it's also creativity. But this is also that someone else, is, someone is coming in to be intimate with you, okay? Intimacy. Um but it's also creating something. It could be a business, it could be a child. So be careful if they're not ready for this, but this is your angel, your second chakra coming in. All right, I feel like this person is going to be heartfelt. All right, very emotional. Definitely someone that is not afraid to tell you how they feel about you. We have contract here. Please don't sign anything that you don't see. Angels of love and also the magician and the mirror. That's your energy gem. Mm -mm -mm. Attachment issues. Yeah, you guys, you're going to have to work to get over this person. It's like you're really working hard to do that because you're the empress, baby. Say it. But, you know, the angels want you to look yourself in the mirror and start manifesting things. Again, a book, writing down what you want, you know, be very straightforward and going back to it and see how far you have come as well. I don't know why I share this with you. I just felt like it. I guess now that I'm looking at this reading, the angels really wanted me to show you this Gemini <laughs> and share that with y'all. Manifestation, y'all. <sighs> Lord, so this is what I'm seeing. New things, new beginning. But I'm seeing like you need to be careful what you're signing. When you do sign, don't be giving nobody any loans, any, you know, co-sign, nothing like that. This is not the time. Don't take any responsibility. I feel like the scales are going to be even anyways, but they're saying that you're blind to a lot of things that you're signing or some kind of manipulation is happening and you're not aware. All right. Love you guys. And this is what I have for you. Hope it helped. And I will see you guys in your next read. Bye, guys.